It's time for business news with Richard Southern. We saw more than two trillion wiped off global stocks on Friday, Richard. So there was plenty of nervousness when the markets reopened this morning. Oh, there sure was, Erica. Good to see you again. Yeah, Friday was the worst day of the year for stocks, both here in Canada and in the United States. But a sense of calm returned to financial markets today. When the closing bell rang on Wall Street, the Dow was up more than 200 points after falling more than 900 on Friday. So a little bit of a recovery. As you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, the TSX was up, but only by 23 points. Helping matters today was U.S. President Joe Biden, who said no new economic or travel restrictions are on the way in the United States at this point in response to the Omicron variant. We saw some of the best performances as far as stocks were concerned, Erica, in mega cap technology names. Tesla was up 5%, Microsoft up 2.1%, Amazon up 1.6%. Still, though, a lot of softness for the airline stocks. A lot of travel experts and travel insiders continue to be concerned about what the near future holds for travel with this uh, Omicron variant now emerging. Yeah, and we have been hearing the word Omicron over and over again for the past few days, but there's also a little known cryptocurrency that shares that name. Had the right name, I suppose, uh, also called Omicron. And sure enough, this thing has been around for a while and it rallied on Friday and headed higher again today simply just because of the name, right? I mean, it was, uh, you could have had this Omicron crypto for about 65 bucks a coin on Thursday. But after the World Health Organization named the new variant Omicron on Friday, this cryptocurrency skyrocketed to 688 bucks. Unbelievable. It's moderated since, but still pretty expensive. Uh, it is um, described as a decentralized treasury backed cryptocurrency. As far as the more established cryptos are concerned, they bounce back today. Bitcoin higher, back above 58,000 US. Ethereum right now, Erica, up more than 6%, above 4,400. So it wasn't just stocks that came back to life today, so did cryptocurrency. And finally, this one's big changes are on the way at one of the world's largest social media companies. Jack Dorsey out as Twitter CEO. He's the guy that founded this whole thing 15 years ago. Dorsey stepping down as chief executive of uh, Twitter. Uh, he has faced some criticism about his management, particularly faced some criticism about his decision to serve not only as CEO of Twitter, but also at the same time serve as CEO of another company he founded, Payment Firm Square. In a letter posted to Twitter today, Dorsey said he was, quote, really sad yet really happy about leaving the company. Company. He claimed it was his decision. Taking over as CEO uh, is a man called Prag Argawal. He's currently the chief technology officer at Twitter. Uh, he joined the company in 2011. Uh, he has a, a PhD in computer science, and he was born in India. And this is really notable because now, Erica, Google, Microsoft, Adobe, IBM, and now Twitter are all run by CEOs who grew up in India, which is a great thing to see as far as the success of Indian-born individuals in the technology sector. Yeah, interesting. All right, business editor Richard Southern. Thanks, Richard. Thanks.